Hi, it's Ellen Holsey, Community Program Manager from Pierce Cedar Creek Institute. Today I want to talk to you about spring ephemerals. Now true to their name, spring ephemeral wildflowers are ephemeral, meaning they're very short-lived. As soon as the conditions become right, they pop out of the ground. So as soon as there's enough moisture in the ground and the temperatures are warm enough, they pop up. Sometimes they last one to two days. Sometimes the blooms will last one to two months. But as soon as the leaves really develop on the trees on the first story of the forest, these guys go dormant again and you won't see them again until next spring. So get out there and go explore spring ephemerals now while you still can. Spring beauty is one of my favorite spring ephemerals because I know now spring has sprung. So it's this beautiful little pink and white flower. It's got these pink lines that come up. It's got these long leaves, kind of like grass. Another name for spring beauty is fairy spud. Now, wait a minute, spring beauty, fairy spud? What are we talking about? But actually, at the base of this plant, there are little corms or potato-like substances at the bottom that Native Americans and other early colonists actually used to collect. Now, in order to collect enough for one meal, you'd have to collect a lot of spring beauties. But thankfully, during spring, you get a lot of spring beauties. But I would suggest let them stay as spring beauty and enjoy them. Bloodroot is actually one of my favorite spring wildflowers to find here in the spring because it's such an ephemeral flower. It usually only lasts one to two days, so I feel like I'm lucky every time I see one. Bloodroot is a really easy one to identify when you're looking in the spring. It's got this nice white blossom with very like yellow anthers inside and then when you look at the leaf it's a very distinctive leaf it's kind of lobed two big lobes on the side and one little lobe in the middle so although the blossom doesn't last long the leaves do last longer so a lot of times you'll see this really distinctive leaf with the stem and nothing above so you can still find bloodroot even if you can't find the blossom bloodroot is actually called bloodroot because the Native Americans actually used to use the sap that comes from this plant, so from the leaves or from the root, as dyes for their baskets or their clothing. So this is a really fun spring ephemeral to find, and as I said, you're pretty lucky when you do find it. Trout lily is another wildflower that comes up in the spring that's not quite up yet. Right now you can see its leaves and they're mottled a little bit brown because they remind people of trout. The blooms actually come up with basically it's time for trout season, which is why it's called trout lily. The blooms will look a little bit like a lily and it's a yellow color. So just as you're looking for spring wildflowers, also remember don't forget to look out for ticks. This is not only spring wildflower season, but it's also the beginning of tick season. So do your tick checks.